Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with your precision forecast. Well, I feel a little bit like summertime out there today. And if you think today is warm, wait until tomorrow. It's not going to be 70. I don't know even why I have that there. It's actually going to be 88 degrees coming up tomorrow. So we're talking about real warm temperatures. We'll call it hot tomorrow. 82 for the high temperature in Boise. So far today, we might top a little bit higher than that. But boy, what a beautiful afternoon. Light winds definitely feeling like summertime. Roaring Springs is open and uh, open for business this weekend. Earliest on record and still warm temperatures coming in. Not going to be open during the week, however, and we will have a bit of a cool down likely coming in for next week. So here are the numbers. The high so far, 82 Ontario, Boise, and Mountain Home, 79 in Twin Falls, and look at this, topping 70 in Idaho's mountain locations. Beautiful weather. If you pick this weekend to do some camping, not bad at all. Saw a lot of campers out there, and I'll tell you what, it has turned out to be quite nice, considering it is not even, it's barely mid-May to have weather like this, considering the last couple of Junes we've had, last couple of years have been really on the chill side. This is kind of nice to get this weather. Around Denver, Colorado, they're getting lots of showers and storms around. It's been cool and damp in those locations, but to the most of the northwest, it's been high and dry. High pressure, dry conditions over the Treasure Valley, all of Idaho, crystal clear. I am going to watch this disturbance right here. This is an upper-level low-pressure system, so there's cooler air in the upper atmosphere with this system here. And as it drifts over an area where it's very hot, it tends to make the atmosphere unstable. In other words, it's much cooler aloft, warmer at the surface. That warm air wants to rise, and if there's enough moisture, you get clouds with the chance for thunderstorms forming. So this is pretty typical. Uh, it's first one of the seasons, so I want to talk to you about it. As it moves up to the north, it'll start to maybe pop a couple of isolated high elevation thunderstorms. will try to pop in the eastern portions of Oregon tomorrow uh, during the afternoon hours. I don't think much is going to happen with that. But anytime you have thunderstorms develop, to our west or to our south, even if they don't make it into the Treasure Valley, the clouds that blow up into the upper atmosphere can sometimes drift overhead. So by Tuesday, we have a chance for getting some high clouds in uh, and a slight chance for a thunderstorm in the mountains on Tuesday. And then that may occur again during the day on Thursday as cool the weather moves in. But really, the bottom line is jet stream way to the north, almost summer like weather coming in from the south and west. Temperatures creeping up hotter than they were today. Middle part of the week, we've got the summer like temperatures across the west, most of the nation the same, but look at this cold front right here. This will drift through for Thursday and cool us back down for Friday and into next weekend, back down to not levels like this, back into the 70s. So mid-80s tomorrow, upper 80s, Boise, Mountain Home at 88, 85, and Weezer and Caldwell continued sunny. So like today, just bumping those temperatures up another 6 degrees or so. How about Riggins? 94 degrees on the Salmon River tomorrow morning. Just amazing weather. Upper 70s to near 80, McCall Donnelly, mid-80s in Garden Valley. We're talking beautiful weather all throughout the Boise Mountains, especially my precision extended forecast. There's 87 Tuesday, 86 on Wednesday. The cool down comes Thursday, and it could get a thunderstorm or two popping up during the day Thursday with some locally gusty winds. I'll watch that closely for you, but cooler on Friday. I think it turns out to be nice on Saturday and Sunday of next week, but cooler than it has been, a little bit cooler. Mm. This is still a good-looking forecast. There's oh, no sure. heavy rains coming in. Absolutely. This time of year? Hey, what'd you think about last night down at the Grove? <laughs> it was an amazing night. Some incredible dancing going on, especially by this one right yeah. here. Yeah, Alder A's money for MDA. MDA Take a little look. At it. Oh.